Peace, y'all. My name is Ebony Isis Booth. I'm a poet, cultural strategist, and creative consultant living in Albuquerque, New Mexico. I represent one voice among the 2.8% of African Americans who live here in the state. I vote because it's my legacy to do so. I remember as a little girl being dazzled by the transformation of a cafeteria or a school library into a polling location and watching my grandmother walk into that booth and close the curtain behind her, the pride that shone on her face with casting her vote, with using her voice, wasn't just because of the activity, but because of the struggles and challenges that she faced in order to obtain that right, in order to gift it to me. Because of women like her, Reverend Camilla Brown Fowler, my grandmother, Mrs. Fannie Lou Hamer, Septima Clark, Ella Baker, and the countless others who bled, fought, and died. For me to have that right, oh, you better believe I won't waste it. I'll use my voice and cast my vote. I wrote a poem I'd like to share with you today called Be the Capital, about the importance of visibility. You can't be what you can't see. And if you look around, the legacy of powerful Black women is everywhere. So I present this poem to you be the capital because ain't no other way to be than the capital character boasting on two humps along the unswerving plumb line of the letter B in Black Girl Magic. You see, we out here. We be clattering into museums and saloons, a dazzling spectrum of melanin, sun-kissed orange soda, sweet lips, dripping theory, and compliments that'll make you wish you never drank the Kool-Aid lace lies about our legacy. We be a ministry, call our incantations church, bring the belongings of your formerly betrothed to our backyards and burn them in ritual, soothe your soul in the rue of our cast iron pots. We be conjuring in the color our coffee turns while we drizzle sweet cream and stir with spoons that clink the sides of Granny's teacup because when we swirl we call the sunken ones back up we named them all Lazarus our granddaddies taught us when to cock the gun so we loaded them with black tourmaline bullets the buckshots embossing the beatitudes in braille across the backside of the ne'er-do-wells we be regal call our coils crowns we are matriarchs in the making rulers of undiscovered empires nestled at the intersection of bosom and belt of empire waste we be mommy water bearers of destiny damning the night behind our eyelashes we be sobrinas of adobe dust born in love with the wind so our voices carry seeds of wisdom whispered to dandelion wishes our manicures stay polished to glisten under sandia sunsets we sip mango nectar from mason jars and spit watermelon seeds into the rio grande lay sunflowers for oshun as arms invite her blessings by Kissing our palms and tending our honey pots, cause we be warriors, our swords sharpen to eviscerate, for debates can be lengthy and our life expectancy don't afford us time to waste. We be stolen sorceresses, penciled into the margins, refusing to be erased. Our inkwells are infinite, indigo details indelible. We are irrefutable, hustle incubated intellectually in coven spaces. We be aggregating the content, testing feedback loops inside our bamboo hoops, aggregating in the patriarchy every time we open mouth cackle at the wondrousness of it all we are rare and precious few yet vital incumbent upon your liberation we are significant here always been magic <laughs> remember to vote y'all Hi, my name is Mercedes Holtry, and I vote because I'm the daughter and granddaughter of immigrants. I am a woman who wants control of her body, and I think it's my obligation and duty for future generations to feel safe, to feel happy, to feel free, and to feel unafraid. This poem is called Show Up, and it's meant to encourage everyone, but especially women, to go vote. Strong women, when you show up, the world is thankful for your arrival until they're not. Everyone wants a strong woman in their corner until the lightning storm that is her mouth strikes the tree stump that is a man's ego. Setting it on fire until the entire patriarchy of a forest burns to the ground. We lightning storms be that way sometimes, unapologetically charged and ready for a revolt. Let's dance with the rain. 
When the patriarchy tells you, you don't move until I say you're ready to move, little girl. You show them just how well your hips and your heart and your feet move to the beat of a cumbia. You dance circles around these fools. Let the sweat dripping from your body be your anthem. Just move, love. Move like you are the sound waves, the bass, the melody, the hum of bees, the speed of hummingbird wings. You are a force of nature, a bringer of truths, a voice waiting to stand the test of time and they will try and silence you. Like your ancestors are rooting for you in the form of thunder, gritando, andele, mija. We didn't die for you to be dormant, be active, be beautiful. Wake up and kiss the dawn, breathe. Like the air belongs to you, dream like the stars are within arm's reach. And don't you dare stop moving when they tell you to stand still. Show up, because without you, who knows what messes these men will make. And you ain't nobody's maid or mama until you choose to be. So don't clean up or cover up their catastrophes. Instead, make your own. Drop the pain and the paint into a masterpiece and title it love. Title it the things I'm willing to do to make things better. Title it self transformation. Then watch how the pain, how the changes turn into the blessings you manifested. There's a certain power that comes with being woman and it's the tolerance for turning pain into beauty. We don't just birth humans through blood and stretched skin. We birth bonds and sisterhood, leadership and community. We take we take the scraps of paper that we are given and fold our success origami style so that our paper cranes would soar farther than we ever thought they would. So that no one can ever tell us, I told you you can't fly. Ain't that funny? They thought we wouldn't learn to use our wings one day so that we could show up Phoenix style rising through the ashes. Now we respond. I told you there was no stopping me. I am the creator of my own destiny. My spirit cannot be tamed. So take your pity, your shame, your disdain and your own pain. Cause I no longer carry what does not belong to me. I carry what matters, whether that be my family, my history, my community, and my victories, and I will always show up. That's what makes me a strong woman. That's what makes me, me. That's what makes me a storm of lightning. You just never know when it's going to show up. Hello, my name is Sarita Sol Gonzalez. I am 15 years old. And the reason that vo voting matters to me so much is mostly because it allows the voices of minorities to be heard, which is very difficult in many circumstances. And so this allows the voice of the entire community to be heard, and that's very important to me. The title of this piece is Voice. We weren't seen as enough. The world we lived in didn't see us as more than machines to pump out men. Each daughter, a maid. Each woman, a wife. We were never willingly given the right to vote. Those who held more melanin on their wrists had to work twice as hard than the sisters with fairer complexions. We thought we had won the battle when we heard the celebration, but we quickly realized this victory was not for us all. Women of color still had to endure 42 more years of being silenced holding our heads high and our words aloud to let our voices be heard, to let it reverberate in our, their head like the call of the drum at the balls of their feet. They say, the fight ended in 1920. It is 2020 and the fight is not over. For a century, we have fought for respect, striving to survive in a world made for men. We still fight for equal pay. We still fight for our own personal autonomy. We still fight for equality and equity. We still fight for our voices to be heard. We still fight. Hola, my name is Jessica Helen Lopez. Soy Chicana, soy mestiza, soy maestra, soy poeta, soy madre. 
the reason I vote is to honor all of my elders and ancestors who fought very hard for that right and that privilege uh, in honor of the ratification of the 19th Amendment, but also to secure future positive policies for our generations to come, including my own daughter, who's 18 and is able to vote uh, this election. I have many names. Tengo muchos nombres. You may call me Malinche, goddess of grass, indígena woman of the kidnapped clan, Rosetta Stone Tongue, glassy rain soaked imperial jade, Moctezuma's poison trade with the white skinned transgressor. Quetzalcoatl Cortez, flesh over the forged heat of Spanish blade, the Dutch, the French, the mulatto, the mestiza, Africana, rape daughters of the doctrine of discovery. You may call me the descendant of the deceased, the disappeared, the pillaged, the blood quantum kickback treaty fed by the belly fat of land grant lies. I have many names, thousands years old names, ancient mighty names. Today, you may call me seven generations missing from my grandmother, Tona Sin, Malinali, Tlazo Te Ot, Ometeo, 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 Ometeo. I am the blood lineage, sacrificial ancestor, progeny of the gone missing women. Call me maquiladora, flower of the factories, woman of Juarez, twice bit and betrayed both by my own kin and the foreign rapist. You may call me rage, righteous, vengeful. Tengo muchos, muchos nombres. You may call me soldadera, matriarch of the Mexicana revolution. I was never anyone's lover, no Pancho via bed warmer, bullets and braids, hands thick like the skin of tamal. This is what you may call me, no yo soy Joaquin. You may call me Yorona, shapeshifter, picket line provocateur, brown beret, skinwalker, woman of the field, hands of callus, picker of fresa, chile, cebolla, and the grape on the vine. We, the legions of farm workers bent at the spine, fingers deep into the dark earth. Today, they will call me wet nurse, wet back, under the table paid brown nanny, breast milk by proxy, but I birth me in the shape of me, blade sharp, obsidian, flint and fired stone. I am the bloodletting and the baptismal. I have many names, tengo muchos, muchos nombres, but you may invoke me brown skin, chola chingona, spelled with an X like the Mexica do. My ancestors who run wild in my blood, my mixed, messy, colonized, and triumphant blood. You may call me double-tongued and code switcher, river crosser, water diviner, border dweller, and burnt sage. You know me as hashtag me too, the bridged hair of Frida's brow, snapped spinal column survivor, the late night mariachi howl, eater of filth. You may call me Bocha, Jota, Bruja, and lit from within. My name in anglicized stain, a de laus campesino somewhere in the middle of Indio, California, fruit basket of the world. But now you may invoke me Dolores, Lona, Sandra, Maria, Josefina, Gloria, Diana, the Huntress, Emma Gonzalez, and Alicia Garza, Patrice, Opal, Audrey, Lord, writer, and patron saint who watches over us all. You may call me La Casadora, Huntress, no regrets. I am the keeper of the dead. Tengo muchos, muchos nombres. You may call me thought woman, carrier of stories, jeweled egg of a diaphanous web. My children spring forth from me, silver headed, spindle soft, ready to recreate the world. Seventh generation rising, I am un malflora, the bad flower who grew despite your attempt to rename that which is nameless.